Hey guys, today I'm using some Cheeky Studio products. I'm pretty excited to be using them. They are the winter florals. I have had them for a good long while and haven't pulled them out, but I am finally pulling them out and I have to say I am in love. I've done a couple layouts with them and I'm just ready, ready to go buy a bunch more. So let's see what I can do. Here I am playing with some shimmers products and one is really light and one is dark. Now these are the ones that you kind of have to activate with water. They come in these little pots and they're really, really dry when they come in. Now I want it to do kind of two big circles behind my grid, my kind of like a modified grid, I guess. And it just wasn't happening. Um, so I decided to use my little acrylic stamp block because I didn't have any packaging handy and just smush it around. And this light color just, it kept taking more and more water, but it wasn't really turning into something usable. So I just mixed it a little bit with the darker one, but shh, you don't have to tell anybody that. And then I just loosely drew some circles around that two little bits of globbiness that I have going on there. And it kind of looks funky right now. Like I, yeah, I mean, it looks funky. I dried it with my heat gun. Did not take long to dry at all. Now I didn't prep this with anything. I just went straight onto a sheet of pale pink uh, cardstock. So I didn't even gesso or anything like that. I just went straight to it. And I think it's because it wasn't a lot of water, like it wasn't super wet. It dried pretty quickly, so I didn't have to worry about anything. And it looks like this is a Color Mates cardstock, so I didn't even use uh, basil. Now, my little doohickey jobby there in my trimmer keeps popping out, and I don't know why. It just does. I end up buying a new Fiskars trimmer every every few years because I feel like they wear out so they like make straight cuts in the beginning but then they wear out and I have to replace it. I haven't made the commitment to buy one of the big expensive trimmers yet just because I like gutting papers and I like being able to cut things out of the center so I haven't like tried a, color, a cutter peller or anything like that just because I need something to do the center. So here I am uh, making my grid happen. And at first I thought I was gonna use this card right here with these big, beautiful pink florals on it. And I do change that out. And I'm using these beautiful floral die cuts. I mean, they are just gorgeous. And I know that they are called winter florals and that's, fine and dandy, but you know, I'm not using them in winter pictures. I'm using them for more, more woods pictures, guys. Okay. So I have a serious love of mere woods. You just go there and it's just this tranquil, beautiful spot and the huge redwoods are all around and it's just quiet and serene and you walk into kind of this bubble of nature and even where the store and the little food area is uh, up up a little hill you have to travel up some steps even that even though it's got the hustly nature and you know people are eating and people are talking and people are shopping and that kind of thing is going on there's still this just this bubble of beauty and like away that's all I can when I feel like I'm away when I go there and it's just it's just awesome so I've probably taken the same pictures of the same logs and the same trees but I don't care I'm going to scrapbook them because I love them so there it is now as you can see this is where I switched out that card I'm also using these teal uh, stickers and this was in the floral kit as well and I'm just going to use two of them to spread the banner across the bottom photo and the bottom uh, three by four card here. Now I'm popping up the floral with some 
just some craft foam. I got it on the cheap. It was on clearance at one of the craft stores. Really, really stupid cheap. And I can't justify the cost of buying the foam that's already gluey on the back, especially when I get stupid cheap, stupid, stupid cheap craft foam uh, on clearance. Now I'm just going to use this flare button that also came in the winter, winter floral kit. Say that five times fast. That's a tongue twister for sure. And I love the flare. The flare is awesome. It matches beautifully with the die cuts and it has a true flat back, which is perfect because when they are true flat packs, you can pop them up even more if you want a little bit more dimension, or you can just glue straight down onto the page and you just have that flare badge, um, you know, dimension. This at the moment is an acrylic piece and this also came from Cheeky Studio. And I debated on using it because it is white on top of kind of a white card. And I'm messing around here and deciding what was I doing there. That looks that doesn't look good up there. It looks better down here. Um, so what I'm going to do is just use a Copic marker in pink. And I try it out and I'm like, oh yeah, it's working great. And then I was like, ding dong. You put it right on top of your project and now you have this hot pink stray mark. So I just am using a little baggie that came in one of my Secret Not Secret kits. Um, and I'm just using that just to make sure that the Copic marker doesn't go all over the place. Not that I really should be protecting my craft mat all that much because there's junk all over it. All kinds of ink and paint and splatter that just has not come off and probably won't. So I get that down and I'm going to use my little scotch dot runner to add adhesive all over it and then I'm going to put it right on top of that card and see how it just pops ever so slightly and the pink is a pretty good match even though it looks kind of neon directly on that white card over top the acrylic it it's a pretty good match I think so I have these here and now I'm going to find some Tim Holtz words because I am enjoying the Tim Holtz words lately I decided to go with uh, the white text on the black and I just add a line here over top of at the moment and I like how it goes great like it fits right in between that H and the you know on over the word I just really like that you know nestling is something I enjoy and that is nestled enough for me to give me that nestling joy do you guys have nestling joy do you know what i'm talking about when you like can fit little pieces in other little pieces oh it makes me so happy okay so now i have my words here and i think i'm gonna add a line or two of text and then i'm thinking it needs a little it needs a little pow it needs a little pop it needs a little something something so i decide to cut off um, some bits around the pink cardstock and i am going to go ahead and adhere this right onto the black cardstock. Now I took a half an inch off the bottom and quarter inch off of each side and that was because I had that floral already up there at the top and I didn't want to take it off and replace it. So I went ahead and did that. So now it has this great pop of black in the background and I'm just finding a good pen to write a line or two. I don't think I write a whole lot. There's only so many times you can you can talk about how great Mirror Woods is and how it's serene and it's an escape. So that's going to be it, guys. Thanks so much. Check out the links below, and I'll see you soon.